I'm, I'm, I'm recording, so this is a special edition of Autism of Hobbit and Capstan. Hello everybody. There we go. And today in this patch I have not got anything plugged in because it wasn't working so I took all the wires out. So today blue is going to be audio signals. So that's why, oh you know what, I'm a high pass filter and I'm going to initialise that. So because what is planning, children? What What is planning when you could just dive in? Isn't that right, Hobbit? <laughs> well, you see, Capstan said you should plan what you're doing before you do it. And I'm like, yeah, but I know what I'm doing and I need to do it and then I can do the planning. So it's not going to be music today. It's more just a case of I got this thing which I found and I want to recreate it, which is the frequency cutoff for the filter and I put the frequency CV to maximum is influenced by numerous things um, you can just have like a, oh actually that's a point I'm going to duplicate that because today not only do I have my keyboard with like a micro core plugged in I have got the half of a Cytec X52 so can I go Windows MIDI, mm. no. And ladies and gentlemen, in the immortal words of Brian Blessed, it looks like a wanking machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm not sure where he said that, but I could well imagine he did say that. Uh, oh wait, this, these are CV values. That's not what we want. We want CC values. So let's find M D. Uh, that's M U I D I U I MIDI, and then I have a mapper because I don't know what these these buttons are. So, right. So the first one, this twiddly knob here, is oh, I need to tell it what device we're doing. Yes. Yeah, that that does help. I'm gonna hook that up first, yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah. So it's a Cytec X52 flight control system. Um. So, oh. And, now I need and then you need to map the, yeah, the keys. Yeah, I need to map it, yeah. <laughs> so that's CC04, okay. And if I twiddle up, it's still CC04, great. So, well, we got four there. I don't even need to reprogram that. Now, what about this slider? That's five. It's being a bit finicky, but whatever. That's five, that's okay, that's fine. This twiddly knob is, that's a three. And I think four for whatever reason still moving because it keeps going back to four. Now there's a scroll wheel on this and there's like a little thumbstick which, oh look, that controls the mouse cursor, okay. And the scroll wheel <coughs> is uh, just a scroll wheel so that's not actually anything there. But the throttle bit is two, so, so I've got two, three, four, and then five. Okay. So, so Hobbit, in terms of w what you're going to map the different functions on the MIDI controller to, mm -hmm. I assume you'll be doing modulation on the larger movements and fine tuning on some of the smaller dials? Yeah, that would be like really sensible. And you know what? That sounds really clever. So I'm going to say yes. Good. Well, yeah. I s I'm, I'm, g I'm glad we're roughly on the same page. So it's literally right so these are cc controls oh and it's chosen red okay so all of these are going to be red and then we'll use green and yellow for something else i don't know what mm. so two three four four i wish it would let me choose a color i don't have to do that that maybe that's a feature they can put in like you can choose what color why i want have you tried um right clicking on on the uh, on on the thing itself on using the mouse scroll wheel or left clicking rather, and then using the scroll wheel. It's like, all oh, right, I'm about to say it, it just down. yeah. Okay, and I think oh no, WASP is correct. If I use ASIO, then OBS won't be able to record the microphone as well as the input. So now let's just try that. So uh, that does nothing. That also does oh. Yeah, it helps if this is Cytec X52 flight control system uh, gamepad. Cytec X52 flight control system. So now, hey, look, there's this and we buttons. have signal. It, it, we have signal. That's that's great. It's like the start of the river delta, children, right to the ocean of creativity. 
Oh, um, okay. This so is now woo woo audio technicians. <laughs> so gate gate signals. Oh yeah, let's have gate be a different colour. So we'll have gate as green, and that goes to the gate. And this is definitely, yep, yeah, that's that's the keyboard. Okay, that's fine. We have signal. Right. So now this will affect the output, but that's all right. So the output will go here into the mixer. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing now. So this is a gate control. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see, you'll see. And these are fit cables, which means polyphony, but that's a thin cable, which means monophony. But let's just try. Okay, that's fine. That's sending signals through. Now, if I just change, that does nothing. Oh yeah, because there's five controls, but that does something, and that does something. So I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. So what's this, the release? The release should be the slide up and down. <coughs> but, all right, what's slide up and down then is five. Well, I've got it plugged into five. So why is five not doing anything? I definitely, hang on. Why go lean further into the screen while I can just do that? It's six. Okay. Silly Billy. Ah, oh, look. We have signal. No, I've got release. I've got sustain. I've got decay and I've got attack. There we go. Right. Let's zoom <coughs> out a bit. So, the, the main idea is yesterday I spotted something and, and, and in the words of Bob Ross, there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. So, oh yeah, that's right. Audio is being blue. So we'll take um, a sawtooth wave, because that's what I did yesterday, and it's blue because it's audio, to the input. Now, um, but of course, where would I be without another MIDI CC, duplicate, yarp? And I'll put that there. And this is gonna be the logger check, G-Hub, G920, driving force whale, USB. Driving force whale, yes. Um, MIDI mapper, because I think it's one, two, and three for accelerator, brake, and clutch, but let's just bring my foot pedals over here mm -hmm. so I can use them on the gap yard. Gap yard. Gap yard. Gap yard in Tunisia. Gap yard, yeah. You know, my friends went to Belize for the gap yard. Oh, it was really good, yeah. They were working with the deprived students there. Yeah, it was great. It's doing such a good job. So let's see, that's one. That's two, that's three. Oh, I didn't even need to do any of that stuff, but that's fine, so that's one. One is the accelerator, and these are charge commands, so I'll make them red. Red. Um, so frequency response does that, because that's like the easiest to handle. Frequency resonance. Um, yeah, and then there's and then drive will be burp, 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 oh, burp, 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 if you look at that, you see all those values, they're all like green, so that's like, what, plus 10. Um, yeah, and notice Hobbit didn't use the clutch pedal then. <laughs> no, 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 well, look, there, there's, there's your drive. But the thing is... Puts drive onto the clutch pedal, can't even, I just, I just can't even, what are you even doing with your life? <laughs> no, no, no! Don't, don't you, you, you're thinking too much in terms of driving. No, what we what we're doing there is is unf in terms like pressure sensitivity. Easiest to press, second easiest, hardest to press, and that's why. And because resonance is something, uh, but to be fair, I mean this is why I wish all the pedals were the same um, thing because all all both frequency drive. But the thing is. I don't like that. That means they're 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 like all at maximum, and if I want to take them off maximum, it means I'd have to push all three feet down, which is why I love this inverter, and I'm sure I can remember <coughs> what this inverter is called, because um, I use it often enough. I think it's by who's is oh yeah that's the one, no that's the one. There we go, and it's green for some reason. All right, thing. Silver. Theme absinthe. Theme blue moon. Oh, okay, blue moon's kind of nice. Um, so if I take frequency, yeah, I'll put it in there and then take the out, 
output, output, res piece, and um, resonance go there, red. So now these are all minus 10, which is the way I want it. So that means only when I push on the pedals will the filter start doing stuff. And drive and resonance will leave, that's, that's fine, I don't mind that. So now Vox Procte, this is, what is this? This is an audio and it's not a gate and it's not charge cut. So I'm going to use yellow for this because I think that's the right thing, right? I don't know, I could be wrong. But now <laughs> That's the one, there we go. Release. There we go. Really? Capstan's controlling my ADSR envelope. <coughs> and now I've got his hand on his flight control <laughs> thing. <laughs> the Psychic X52 flight control system, yeah. or at least half of it. If Grey caps that, I'll drive to his house and nut him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he even watches these videos? Like, oh, it's Hobbit's autism hour. Good. Yeah. Is that is that our camouflage? It's yeah. like, yeah, we'll never get us here. Yeah. In the in the den. There we go. So now. Nah, let's, let's, let's try and get a chord going. If I actually do get in, but the point is, it's like that's not really that interesting. So if I do this, oh, you you want to use the steering wheel? <laughs> no, no, I don't. This is getting ridiculous. Is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the point because now I've actually got a second pair of arms. Mm. Then you we can, can do more shit. Yeah, exactly. It's just like this is. This is one of the things that's like, a modular synth doesn't need to be just one human being, and provided that you can both have access to the controls, mm. and Capstan sat in front of the steering wheel, and he's also got like the, the, th the throttle, which is one half of a hotel system. Mm. I've got the foot pedals, he's got a foot on clutch, and... <laughs> Resonance and uh, frequency. Yeah, I've but got it, drive. But the thing is, if I just use resonance on its own, nothing happens. into a square wave but then when I pushed on on resonance it turned from a square wave to a pulse wave mm. because the the bits at the bottom let's put your foot on drive again I'll put on, on <laughs>
green, red, right? Mm. And if I use the steering wheel, hey, look at that. And also, I've turned the sensitivity down on the steering wheel, so it's not like trying to. So you've got. So the steering wheel can actually do sounds like. But the filter's only got like three inputs. So what would you use the steering wheel for? Now, however. Okay, can you reuse the. Um I suppose the flappy paddle gearbox on this bit. Yeah, you can. If you want to map those, so if I go here, mm. and then just do the flappy pedal, so uh, yeah. left. That's nine, and then right is eight. Sorry. But those are on off switches, so they, they um, I mean, again, I, but the thing is, we've done all this stuff right, and the microphone, that's okay, it's picking something up, so, um, uh, what's the word? Oh, I'll bug it out. Hang on, sorry. That's all right. That's okay. It's yeah, just it's just the thing like is, there we go. All of that, all of that is just to say to yourself, oh, okay, that's eight, that's nine. You, 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 as long as you can remember what it is. But the point is, I'm not actually covering new ground. I still haven't showed the bit which I wanted to show, which was the case of I don't need my accelerator controlled in frequency cutoff. So can I just put it there? No. All right. Okay, that goes away. So frequency cutoff. We'll take it to the output of channel one. And now, well, this is polyphony. <coughs> so I'm going to turn this to monophony. And if I press a note, <coughs> so th this is a triangle. And let's go to a saw wave. signal that's coming out um so i think it's very quickly what have you mapped this steering wheel to values wise uh it's it's number zero on if i <coughs> mini cc so <coughs> it's number zero Christ. So, now i've got a theory because what this is doing is feeding back into itself um that means if I go higher and lower pitch, the effect on frequency cut should be greater. So let's just try. This is for all the dogs that are listening. <laughs> this is literally about to say, come here, Clyde. <laughs> I thought this is quite interesting. It's um <coughs> I just realized I had my door open and if the neighbours and the dogs start coming in, it's like, oh, uh, sorry. <coughs> okay, that works in polyphony mode as well. So this is a thing, so now I've got an accelerator free because that's not controlling anything. And I've got a steering wheel that's free. That's not controlling anything. So I could have another filter. I could have another ADSR. I could have um. I could have a. I. Do I want to use a VCA to do something? I think I do. Um, let's get a VCA. And I think. Uh, yeah, that one. That's nice and simple. What if I? Had, so the ADSR um, is controlling the, uh, it, it only lets the signal through because the ADSR on broken, which I want to change. That's a slow attack. That's a fast attack, I think.
I know what I could do. It, oh, the, the, this is a simple. I say simple because I'm just trying to think. So that's that's the accelerator. So if I put it in there, must be the same color. Must satisfy my color coding autism. So now from her last few color blindness. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. For all I know, he or he's, he's just wanting the correct aura <laughs> for for his his cable man. So ah oh look, if I push now, I got, I got like volume response. Ah, uh, get a chord going. But this isn't plugged in. <laughs> This is two six one six three. What if I just make that very simple? Two five six. Two five six. Yeah. And then so now I'll go here. That sounds alright to me. So if I make this one um, another multiple of uh, eight, so two five six minus eight is two four eight. That's correct, yes it is. And now can I put the input from there into there? No, I can't. Right, so let's duplicate that. See? Duplicate. Duplicate. But that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but here's where you're wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, there's this there's, there's very interesting way of uh, mangling the English language of it, but here's mm. where you're wrong. Really, Ro wrong there. Mm -hmm. um, so now, channel two, because this is going to be channel two, is um, blue and that goes into the frequency control yes because we're doing the same as that frequency control and now I take resonance and drive you know what I mean as great as this thing is like hey this is the new thing I figured out you can take the the um, output of your oscillator and use it to control frequency cuts off that's something I'll probably experiment more if I'm doing like automatic music with a sequencer. Mm. But because you're here, I want to take advantage of the fact that you're here and you that you can control things with your two hands, which I can't control with my two hands. And you've got two feet and I've got two feet. If only we had like um, four foot pedals as opposed to three, maybe I need one of those tractor sims with the left and the right clutch. I've, I've, I've got two left feet anyway, <laughs> mate. I wouldn't know what I was doing. <coughs> So, um, we want to duplicate all the stuff there. So, I don't think we'll bother with this amplifier. And so, <coughs> the high pass filter, because I like high pass filters, goes there. And um, frequency cutoff goes to the inverter. There. Yeah. So, now it's just a case of duplicate these cables, please. Right, so. Yes, that's the right one. Yeah, and then resonance is the hard one. So one, two, three, four. 
and then that's the one, right? And then drive is the seven one, uh, <coughs> two, three, four, yeah, and that's that one. Four, do it, do it again, yeah, that one. Yeah, okay, yeah. right. So this is correct, that's correct. Do we have, can I use the same ADSR for both of these? Um, no, no, that's two. Oh, okay, we can do that. That's nice. Uh, oh yeah, look, I can, that's good. So I don't need to duplicate the ADSR on both. No, um, it's audio, so I want here. Blue goes in there, and then why not have the output of channel two going to the wind position? Now, if I do this, <coughs> oh, hang on, I can do that by hand. So that was going to be two, four, eight, right? <coughs> session called Pavlovian conditioning <laughs> here with Capstan and Hobbit. <laughs> oh god. That is It's not even in there. Oh god. It's quite discordant, the, isn't it? Right, I've heard microtonal heavy metal in music. Like oh. But here's the thing, right? This, this is one of my... Uh, <laughs> Some frequency cough that merely makes it sound like <laughs> it's as if a foul sends transistors cry out in pain. Yeah. But the if you're watching this in bed uh, to go to sleep with, we do apologise here at uh, here at the audio um, torture chamber. Um, what, what I'm apologising for? There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. See this? <laughs> that's a happy accident. That is. <laughs> that's what Bob Ross would say. But the point is. Whilst, we would say, whilst you're apologising for my experimentation, here's a point. So look at the oscilloscope, um, boys and girls in the audience. So if I zoom in a bit more, let's just have a look at this. Uh, Did you see Examples of like because I can see like um, a square wave. Uh, you see that in real life with woodwind instruments, and I think mm. saxophones because the way the reed sort of like flicks from one position to another. That's a square wave. Mm. Uh, sine waves is is organs. But then I'm thinking to myself, where do you see triangle and sine waves in real life? Mm, good question. Mm. And the thing is. I, I looked at this and I was like, why does this have a switch that goes between analog and digital? Surely this is all digital, right? But it turns out, I'll go back to <coughs> So you can't see much there, but if I go here, <coughs> I'll just turn off one. Hang on, let's turn the pitch down so you can see it more.
Roswell's not connected in. Oh, right. I'm just holding it going, wee. <laughs> but wait a minute. I know this is like, I really feel like a kid in a candy shop when Can, I see all have, these things. Have we got uh, something in your list of presets? Again, look, uh, I said I'm maybe just uh, I don't know, stick a compressor on it or something, but have we got some kind of distortion? Uh, yes, however, we've also <laughs> got reverb. Very nice. Oh, uh, but this reverb doesn't have any CV controls. So it's literally just I was about to say, mate, you've literally just spent the better part of an hour setting up all of this. Choose the most simple reverberation unit in the entire pack. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I mean, uh, the, I know something we can use for distortion. Let's just, um, b because I I'm basic, I'm going to go... <laughs> yes, I am basic. I'm going to go for what Mutable Instruments is called when they do the software stuff. Audible Instruments. So we've got their oscillator. We've got their... Um, plates, which is a macro oscillator. We've got the um, instruments, modal synthesizer. Oh, this is a cool thing. Have you ever seen this? I don't know. It's right. So it's a modal synthesizer, mm -hmm. and it basically, like, if you want to like simulate like a something being struck or blown or things like that, it makes all different sorts of things. Um, the best way to demonstrate what it sounds like is to take an output. We've got a left and right output. So we'll just put them, can we put them both in the same channel? I think we can. Oops. All right. No, we can't. So now if I press a button. Now if I change, just put the bell up. is something where you look at all these CV inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8 um, analog. And you could map to play buttons up one of these um, these controls, one oh, of the yeah, buttons on yeah. it, couldn't you? Um, so what, what makes... Um, is it gate? Yeah, so if I said, like, for example... Right on if, here. Yeah, so that would be 9, I think it is. So MIDI CC yeah. um, is that. So let's see, 9 is there. And this is a CC, so I'll send it there. And we'll go to play. Uh, I think gate will do it. So, yeah, just press press that. Nothing happens. Oh, it's left. Hey, look, so you've got a play. As well, I'm gonna put um, the rank into the number zero. Once I'm I've just, connected, activate that. Oh play. no! Uh, well, no, zero is the steering wheel. So okay. So now, if you move the steering wheel. Now just go into any of the positions there, mm -hmm. first gear, first gear 16, all right, so 16, so instead of having it there, I'll put it into six, oh, it doesn't go into fifth, I'll just change that to 16, there we go, all right, <laughs> yes, no, it is, it is a thing which we could do in the virtual thing, which you'd never do in real life, unless you had like silly... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've just mapped it. Right. So, let you imagine taking a fake gear lever, putting it into first, and that fucking noise happened. <laughs> I think something's wrong with uh, the gearbox, mate. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Oh, yeah. Just put it in the first. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you see, th this is the idea of it. So the thing is, what we could do, mm. which you would never do in real life, is go, you know what, I've got seven gears on my thing, so I'm just going to duplicate this seven times. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, and I can hear my the fan of my processor warming up. So now we've got seven of those. Right, let's repeat that seven times. So I'll, strength is, uh, there we go, so strength. Oh God, this, if only we had two mice, you could do this, as, no, you can only have one cursor at a time. Mm. Um, I need to zoom out so I can see what I'm doing better. And there, well, bear with me. We're, we're not just going to be doing this. At we're not doing this for shits and giggles. This is serious business, children. We oh, are yeah, breaking it is. boundaries. <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, some of the astute members in the audience be like, but Orbit, you've only got a four channel mixer. D Where are you going to put the extra 14 outputs from this? And I'll be like, ah. But that's where you're wrong, because I have more than a four-channel mixer. Um, I said, do, do people actually watch these? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You've got a dedicated law fan base. Yeah, yeah, there's all um, six of them. They, they thumbs up my videos oh, every shit. time. Oh, hello, yeah. everyone. Yeah, so, uh, hello, my fans. <coughs> so now, um, if I zoom <coughs> in again, I think it'll be quite straightforward. If, if I'm, so if I go, can you just go first gear for me? That's, that's <laughs> 16. Can you go uh, Can you go second gear? 17. And then third? And I imagine fourth will be 19. Fifth, 20. Six, 21. Now, can you go in reverse? Uh, hang on, sorry. So six, I think, is just... No. Hang on, let's... let's right, hang on, sorry. One... <laughs> yes. Alright. Two. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Four. So, yeah, I mean, five will five. be 20, and then six will be 21. Six. And then reverse. Uh, have you got to, like, push you it down? Push it down. So it's 15. Right, okay. Right, so in which case, so we'll go, so that's seven gears, so we'll do, this is 16. We'll make that 15. Right. And then this one will be 16. Mm. 17, 18, 19. I'm glad the little experiment I did was just like, all right, that experiment's done. Now moving on, 21. There we go. So we got our seven positions. And now. Check um, them again. Well, re it, now one is reverse. So go into reverse. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That will, that will never not be funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. So here's the thing. So if I go, um, so it's got to be the same colour. So now, um, there we go. So that is whatever gear that is. And then um, b -b -b that one. I mean, I think the modal synthesizer costs only like 250 euros. So it's like, I'll have seven of those, please. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want to play seven different of them using this. Oh, you know, you could actually be a lot simpler, and you just do CV values, and it changes on the fly. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that that's that's yeah. very big brained. Yeah. That's because yeah. you're simple. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have seven of them controlled by my gear stick mm -hmm. and my co-pilot. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, can I have gear one, please? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I'm a spastic. I put them all into zero, which means that, and then you won't hear anything because the outputs aren't plugged in. Oh, what a div am I? So, go away, go away, um, go away. Do I? Do I, I think I did that. One. So let me just give it some. Yeah, that did something, and reverse did something. Right, okay. uh, so one, yeah, two. Three, At the moment, four, only one in reverse five, I plugged in. Six. And reverse. So, actually, that one's plugged in, whatever that is, but that's okay. So, um, yep. 
And so this one goes to there and then that can find me. That one goes there. Right, so now if you go through the gears uh -huh. so one that goes on and then two, two that goes on. Three that goes on. That goes on, that goes on, that goes on, and reverse. Yeah. Right, so now, hey. we, now we've got all these um, seven. So let's, put, let's just line them up a bit. And, um, oh yeah, we'll have those. Maybe I'll put these somewhere, somewhere else so I can have all my Moodle synthesizers on the bottom. There we go. Now... None of these are output except for reverse, and reverse goes into there, which is a bit guy. So I don't want that. We're going to need a bigger mixer, um, which feeds into that mix. So if I type in mix, and then what have I got? Oh, this is all audible instruments. I don't know. Can I get rid of that? <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, matrix mixer. Wow, so I can have 8x8. Eight eight. That's what, 256 inputs? Nice. 8 channel mixer. Uh, there's left and right in all of them. We could just use one channel, but I want to use both. So that's, um, we need 14. So something that can take 14 inputs. That takes 8. Well, if that's, you know, switch 88 and we need 14 inputs, then yeah. that's mean worthy. So, yeah. you know, yeah. why not? 8 by 8. And this is also 8 by 8. So switch range. Oh look, it's got matrix in it. That means red pill has got somewhere in that yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. So if we take a <laughs> matrix eighty eight we'll, meme mixer. We'll take we'll take the matrix eighty eight meme meme machine. Well, that does oh fuck it, I thought that said boogaloo for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no, looking at that going, who designed this? It's bog audio. Bog so, audio. So the thing is I don't actually know where the outputs on this go. So we'll we'll just do um that. Yeah. And then I assume uh, Do you want to get a mixer that's better marked? I, I want to get a mixer that actually has like something which is definitely output. But yeah. Because the thing is, it's like I, I need to just get another mixer, mate. So it's just better than having to cock about. So um, like just add a mix eight and just have a few of them because it, again you've got yeah. panning on there as well if you need. Yeah. It. So if I if I do two of those, and that's okay because I've got two channels I can got into the mixer there. So I'll just I'll duplicate that twice. And in there, just duplicate, <laughs> du duplicate. Yeah, we're gonna. These all gonna get duplicated. Um, that goes in, and then oh, I've got left and right output. Mm. No, we'll just have dim. No, that's not what I want. Level left right. Um, oh, that's okay because I can do another mixer. Europe. Bear with me. Do you want to put that one next to that one so you know what's going on with it? Oh, I know what's going on with it. Believe you me. But yes, I will do what you're saying. Um, disdain in his voice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> disdain. It's not disdain. It, it's disdain for plebs. It's How dare you say I know what I'm doing? I have uh, duplicated the six successfully. <laughs> I duplicated this on my gap yard. Gap yard. Yeah. 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 In Tunisia. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so now I've got that, and then the outputs on this mixer will also go into there, and then there. Right, so now the mix of that will take it to, and it's got to be blue because it's audio, there. Right, now try one of the gears and get this to play. No, try another one. There we go. Second work. Yeah. Right, so now... Do you want to go through the rest of them? No, because okay. only one's plugged in. So now we've got to do a case of... Tick, click, click, click. Oh. There's the one. So now this goes in there. And that goes in there. Oh, if I just click four times, that's... There we go. So I click four times. Now... Yeah, and then uh, goes in that one. 
I kind of, the outputs of these go into different mixes just to be even more confusing. So I, I didn't have to put like left and right in the same one. But I'm trying not to be confusing because this is going to get confusing. All right, now try the gears. All right, sorry. First. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. Fifth. Sixth. Reverse. Great, so we now have seven instruments that sound the same. Aren't you glad you spent seven lots of 250 euros? So let's, I'm just going to do... Um, oh, God. Can you do first gear for me again? All right, I'll leave that one alone. So... Random, 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 and random. Right. Okay. Now I'll try those first. <laughs> I'm really scared. This is going to be brilliant and amazing. Yes. Three, two, one, first gear. Yeah. Okay. Two, one. Second gear. Nice. Nice. Okay. Lovely. Third gear. <laughs> Oh, mm. very nice. Uh, fourth. Oh, do fourth again. Oh, that's a nice clicky sound. That's oh, wooden. Nice. Oh, I love that. That's brilliant. Yeah. And five. I don't like five. I don't know. I think five sounds a bit like a... You know one of those things you take a couple of match sticks in a cork and float them on a plate of water, and then you get a jar and put them onto the, the match sticks, and then it sucks up all the water via vacuum. All from right. the plate. Yeah, do, do that again. Okay. See what I mean? That sort of vibe is six. And then reverse. <laughs> <laughs> do one. Reverse. Is three still going? Hang on. Oh wait, wait. Channel two, channel four, and channel. That's mixed. So it's channel three and four. Is there a way to put an ADSR envelope on channels three and four? Uh, I'm just going to mute them for the moment. Yeah. Well, I wonder. So channels three and four. So let's let's have a have a look at that. Channels three and four. Where where's that going? That will be number four. Yeah. Four. Oh, um, wait, wait, so if I just, um, four? No, that's four. That's it's reverse. It's reverse. Okay. On oh, the thing is, you've still got your steering wheel for strength in all these things. Here's an idea, so if I take um, volts per octave, one, two, three, four, put it in there. Yeah. In terms of a four, was mm. that the nice one or not? Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. now. Yeah. Hang on, I need to mute the, the, the uh, oscillator. <laughs> Wait a minute, just keep playing the four.
Okay, this is... I don't know if it's polyphony because it's a percussive sound, but yeah, now the keyboard is controlling the... Well, I say it's controlling it, but it seems to be a bit... That definitely is doing something. Hang on. It's left. And as you're doing that, all the time the steering wheel's going to the centre. <laughs> so knee holds it in place to stop it. I don't... It's working, but I don't think it's working too well with polyphony. I think it'd be better with monophony. Yes, certainly monophony. So what if I did a duplicate of MIDI CV? I would duplicate that, yeah. Right. So it's have, you t have, have you turned down the attack or release on that? No, on, on no, the, um... no, the ADSR is not controlling any of these modal synthesizers. Oh, right, okay. So if I just get rid of that, I say get rid of it, yeah. I'm put in there, and that's, and we'll change that from, because it's duplicated, it wants to do polyphony. Stop saying duplicated. Du <laughs> Ani anime. Right, so now that's but just... But that's wrong. Yes. <laughs> but, so now, this is a simple monophony there, and, okay. yeah. My transit van in winter. <laughs> the spirit of the machine of my van in winter. Now the thing is, someone could say, oh yeah, but that's a bit convoluted, you're using your gear sticks there. Why not just send the gate controls from the keyboard so that it works in unison with the like the volts per octave thing? Mm. Well, that's where you'd be wrong. Yeah, because I, that's why you love men, that is. <laughs> 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 because the straight way to do this, as you can see on your computer screen right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, all right, that's great. So I've got all that stuff, but then I've got like. <laughs> but ah, the keyboard's controlling the pitch all these things. There's a thing. All the, I put these on on random, but if you wanted to, you could actually like modify them. Mm. And the thing is as well... What was the one you didn't like? Was it fifth gear? Yeah, fifth gear sounds a bit shit. Re-randomise it then. A, wait, 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 wait. So we'll just have a look what it's doing. It's blowing. And then I think... Hang on. Let's zoom in so I can see what, what it says. Can you do five again? Uh, hang on. No, it's four. Five. Oh, five. Oh, okay. No, it's... I think that's three. I'm just pressing on... Yeah. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. Definitely sounds shit. So we got a lot of blow, a lot of bow, contour. Um, just keep just keep hitting it and I'll see. Breaking. Oh. 
Oh, oh like a marble on glass. Hey, that's yeah, yeah. that's alright. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that is. I'm just gonna change the brightness. Yeah. Marble on glass in space. Oh man. That, that's good. That is. I still muted to you. You still got feedback on Yeah, I do. Oh, the tail end of that's probably quite long. Let's go. Just go through all of them again. See if there's any which don't make any sounds. That's one. Yeah. Two. I like two. Okay. Three. Yeah. Four. Four's good. Yeah. Six. Reverse. Reverse did nothing? Yep. Ah, reverse is the one I've muted. Alright, so. Just re randomise it, mate. Yeah, go, go to reverse again, show me which one. Is that reverse? Ah, yeah. that's reverse, right. <laughs> there we go. That's alright. Is that a satisfying clunk? That, that is a good clunk, that is. Now is that a banging clunk? Uh, that is a banging, <laughs> banging clunk, clunk, yeah. Now, the thing is... The, the, now, I'm sure you're looking at all those other buttons and going, but Hobbit, there's more than just seven on the gear stick. There's also 21 in total. And you'd be right. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to, all of those buttons on the steering wheel could also be, like... So, if I really wanted to, I could make 21 of the modal synthesizers. Shall we do that? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because then what we can do is you can have the keyboard and I can be your sound effect man, like Jack Foley. Right. All right. And then we, we can create a banging clunk and your Put sort a of banging clunk on dis it. and your dissident keyboard. Yeah. Right. And I've got all these buttons and we can sort of jam for like 10 minutes and that could be your song for the day. Yeah, I think that will do. Cool. So the, the thing is, though, is I don't really... I mean, like, two-channel outputs on this, I don't think we need stereo for these sound effects. So I'm just going to take off, like, one from each. And then if we've got 21, then we've got 16. So we'll just do, like, 16... Mm to start with. And we don't have to we don't have to go mental with the sound effects, you can just randomise it. D yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That should be right. Oh god, I'm I'm not spending twenty eight days uh, Yes. Uh, <laughs> but you are though, because yeah. it's fun. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I I probably will when you're gone because I think this could be oh. quite a lot of <laughs> Well, V C B Rack is free to download and it's saying to my audience you can download it and you can do all this stuff yourself. Yeah. So, um, you know, don't take our word for it. So, uh, Have you put a download link in the description of your YouTube videos? Oh, but of course I have. Because, hey. Yeah, when I do the description later, mm. it will be it will be there. And, uh, uh, is it also Mac compatible for those of us who are... Um, it, because it's, it's like free software, of course it's Mac compatible, Linux and Windows. And you can even run it on your Commodore 64 if somebody makes a compiler for it, nice. and you've got a Commodore 64 powerful enough to run all this stuff. But would a Commodore 64 even have like the the oomph to? No. no yeah. Sorry. No, it would not. Right. So let's just move all of these like in different positions, and then move those there. Cool. When you're doing that, I was doing that. Yes, yeah, smoke for your American audiences. He's gonna smoke a fag, yeah, American smoke audience. A fag. Yeah, he's gonna smoke a fag in Chicago. I really hate fags, they smell funny. <laughs> <laughs> fags are bad for your health. Yeah. Where'd yeah. I where'd I put my fags, Hobbit? Uh I don't know. Bet. Have you looked in the um Oh on hang on, it's in my fag pouch. Yes. Yes, there we go. Have you got a burner for my fag? Thank you. Yes. He's going to set light to a fag, everybody. How, how are these fag jokes going for you? They're going fine for me. Right. But, 
I'm going to need another MIDI CC to do all this, so let's get another MIDI CC. What was that? Oh no, that doesn't do much. Um, let's have a look. 24, 25, 22, 23. 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so 22, 23, 24, 25. It'd be so nice if I could just go, oh, it does it. Oh, that's so clever. So, um, <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm, yes, they are. I'm gonna come and take you away. <laughs> Do you want to come indoors? What with this fag? Yeah, I don't mind. And they won't smell it. It's not as if they come over here. I think you. Yeah, but um, one moment we've got real life distraction. Thank you. Right, so I found something which made me really happy. Um, Capstan, so you, you know I was doing this MIDI mapper trying to figure out what these controls were. Yeah. No need, because I press a button and then it, it just automatically went, yeah, I know what position that is, no problem. Right, yeah. um, audience, what I'll do is I'll promise I'll explain this gag later, but it's a visual gag that you won't be able to see. It all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I will take the time to briefly explain this. Um, I'll have to timestamp. That was uh, one hour and one minute in. Okay. Right, so what happened was is that I'm stood in front of this very large spider nest with, with, with this spider nest with Hobbit. And I've got this half smoked cigarette in my hand. <laughs> and I look a bit bedraggled because we went to the pub tonight, didn't we? Last night. It, last we? night. Last it happened night. last night. Right. So I'm, I'm looking a bit run down. I, I've, I've done that meme where the bloke on the conspiracy theory board with all the wires, with the fags going, you see, it all makes sense. <laughs> oh, all right. Ah, oh, okay. I'm very, I'm very, very happy, but I need to make the release on that shorter. Yep, yeah, good. All right, brilliant. So, um, what I've got here is all of those four, all of these four, mm -hmm. that, 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 all are controlling some, um, they, they're all mapped. So I didn't even need the mapper because basically like this mapper goes, yeah, those numbers there, those numbers there, that number, that number, that, 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 and that, all of them, they all, it's, it, you don't need it, so that's brilliant, I've just learned, you, I mean the MIDI map is great if I'm doing like um, knobs on uh, the micro -corg, uh, but I'm not doing, oh, capstan, yes. not only have I got the, the knobs on the joystick, I've got the knobs on the on the micro call, so they can control things as well. I'm jumping up and down <laughs> with joy right now. <laughs> I've got. I'm I doing a little Irish jig. I just realised I've got, I've got I've got more knobs than what I know what to do with. Oh, that's a position I've not been in. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so the thing is, so you. I've never been so excited. I feel like a child again. <laughs> this is brilliant. This, I mean, this this is why this is like um, it's like. I can say to people when it's like, oh yeah, I'm a musician. It's like, oh, what instrument do you play? The computer. <laughs> K keyboard, joysticks, Xbox 360 controller. Mm -hmm. I mean, if this if this was a jam session, ladies and gentlemen, the equipment we have in front of us resembles a BDSM dungeon, I think. <laughs> <It's> the... 
I'd say it represents a land party, but I don't know what BDSM parties you go to. I, d- I don't. I have no idea. No. I have no idea. No, you don't. It's just what the kids say, isn't it? No, in fact, no, it's dirty. not what the kids say. It's not at all. Yeah, they are. They're little dirty buggers. You know oh, what they're fucking up to. No, I'm not. I don't even know. But, I, but literally, I've got a set. There's all these buttons. And mm, like, ah. There's buttons. And they all do things. So I'm going to make four duplicates. And I'm all going to put them on this row. And these four are going to correspond to the D-pad on the joystick. So duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Right. So now... Uh, which one's gate? Gate is that. I won't bother connecting strength because I don't want to. Yes. Oh, what? You're going to make me connect? But anyway, that, and then... Do I need to press the up pad on the D or something? On the, um... No, you, you're, you're seeing a bit. You're seeing a bit. Okay. Because the thing is, you could... Yeah, you will be able to do that. One, two, three, four... Um, that goes to gate, gate, yep, yeah. and then one, two, three, four, and that goes to gate. Right. So now try the D pad, right. and then that light up, that lights up, that lights up, that lights up. Yes. Brilliant. So, Actions. So now we'll just take the outputs from that and then go into there. Right. There's one. Take the output. One, two, three. There we go. Take the output from that and go into there. Um, one, two, three, four. There. And one, two, three, four. There. Now I'll try the D pad. Great. So now you have four, four simps which all sound the same. I'm sure there's somebody screaming right now going, Robert, this is really dumb. If you want to get those different settings, you can actually record them as TV values and then put them in here. And then you could actually have... You know what? I really would like somebody to do a video saying, like, yeah, so instead of using, like, 21 different modal synthesizers, here's how you can do one, which makes all those sound effects by plugging in, like, CV values. So it actually twiddles all the knobs for you to create different sounds. But I was just going to do randomize, randomize, randomize... And hang on, just go through all your gears. Yeah. Go. <laughs> that dunk. Dunk. <laughs> Put a banging <laughs> donk, donk on there. Donk. <laughs> That's yeah, what this needs, mate, is a banging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, which one's that? That's still going on. That's still going on. Oh, it's this one here. That's lit up. Right, so let's zoom in. And then wait for it to re-render everything. <laughs> this is going to be one of my longest VCV rack videos. It's fine. Yeah, but we've got twice the power. So it's Yeah, like twice the autism. Twi- twice the autism. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was going on really long. Um, if I take the damping all the way down, hmm. try it again. Oh, I forget which one that. Just go for all. Okay. So this is good. Oh, that's good. I'm... And now, try try one of them again because I'm sure one of them sounds like gear two. Right now, try gear two. Uh, hang on. All right. Same noise. So, uh, do the D pad one. Okay. All right, that one here. So let's randomise that. Again. I like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, and the rest of them. Uh, for the D pad. Yeah. That's almost almost like a horn. Do- so what we got? We got bowed, blowed, strike, mallet, timber. So if I take off, um, the, probably the. Put a bit more damp. Bottom one, hang on. Donk. 
donk. That is a donk. That is a bit of a, that's a bell donk. That that, that, that's a bell donk. Um, this <laughs> off the bow on it, take yeah. the bow off, put a little bit of blow. Right, and then... What if I change con? That's good. Oh, I like that. No, should, should, should I do the, for the rest of the... Should we do these buttons just to check them before? Yeah, we, but so of course. That's, that's left. Right. I quite like up. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Of course, you realise when you go away, I'm going to have to replace you with some sort of sequencer, or is this some <laughs> sort of... He thinks I'm leaving this desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Capstan's mum. Um, he, he's now part of my musical instrument, one which I have to feed. I am the machine. <laughs> <laughs> So now we've got all those four plugged in, we're gonna do another four, because this other four is gonna be controlled by the... Um, XYBA. XYBA, yeah. Uh, duplicate. Right, so now, um, I'm gonna bring MIDI CV down so I can see what I'm doing without having to scroll up and down all the time. I think that's better. So I think this was it. So we just go, no, no, that's correct. So that goes gate, one, two, three, four, gate, one, two, three, four, gate, and then one, two, three, four, gate. Right, so now try X, Y, B, A. Okay, so uh, let's go with X. That lit up, Y, that lit up, B, yeah. And A. Yeah, A. A. Right, so now let's put, oh, that was the right one. Let's plug in the output and then one, two, three, four. Output one, two, three, four. Output one, two, three, four. There we go, that's four. Output. Right, now try XYBA. Okay. That's A, B, yeah. Y, yeah. Ah, oh, brilliant. They all sound the same. Hey. Just the way we want it. Oh, right, now try XYBA. Uh, X. I like X. Y. Don't like Y. Hey. Alright, go X again. No, what's the one I don't like? Is it B? Why? Why is harsh? And then A. A's okay. So if I zoom into Y, which is this one. Yeah, so the, the brightness on that is all the way up to the top. So if I turn the brightness to about halfway, do it again. Uh, this is A, isn't it? No, it's B. That sounds like quite impressive. I mean, I could put some blow in there. <laughs> yeah, put some blow. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Fuck, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why you don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry for the F. No, don't let go. sound effects on the XYBA. Okay, so we've got uh, X. That's oh. the, that's the. If it, if it didn't go like so and harsh. Zimmer special. <laughs> I was going to say, if it didn't go so harsh, that reminds me a bit of um, Art of Noise. There's like, I think it's called Yebu or something like that. Mm. And there's this bit right at the beginning with loads of reverb and it just goes, it, it sounds, hang on, so there's X. Let's go to X. So there's. Let's change the timbre down a bit. It's still. The, what it, ah, there's no jumping. Um, controls to do so we're going to make the, this the Jesus Christ it's like <laughs> it, again if this was a Eurorack it's like okay you can have any VCAs it's like no I just want 21 modal synthesizers oh your mutable instruments is new preferred customer do you want a mixer for those oh I suppose I will need a mixer oh that's true we're going to need another oh look at this this isn't enough mixers <laughs> we've got two mixers uh, you're gonna have to get another mixer on that shit. <laughs> but not only that, I'm gonna need like this mixer because like, uh, what am I doing here? Can I take like the the output from this? And I don't know. You've still got another input on this one. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, so you, you're all yeah, right. yeah. So, um, wait a minute. These two mixers are taking up two mixers. Don't break it, just add more. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's yeah. one of those, it's working. It's wor I don't know how, but it's working. It's working. No, in fact, I do know how, but I, I still don't want to, like, fuck with it. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's stable. It, it is. Ish. Um, so we'll take... So where's the outputs of these going? Hang on, I, I've got an idea. Got oh, an they're idea. all going into here. Yeah, that's yeah. Why. why. So why don't you just take the output from here and stick it in there and then... And then you take the overall output. Oh, yeah. I'm pointing at the screen, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the mixer yeah. um, where Hobbit's cursor is here. Oh, oh shit. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I yeah, know yeah. what you're saying. Um, so. And then we then we create another mixer and just divert the whole lot through there. So we've got a master mixer, if that makes sense. And yeah. then we can put that directly into well, your... So all of these are inputs and this is output. So mm. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that and put it in there. And then, so left and right are going to become blue. Must always be blue. Right. So now, the outputs from there, we'll just we'll put you to the side there. One, two, three, four. Goes there. One, two, three, four. Goes there. And we'll connect these mixers in series. Mm. And then this mixer here is not plugged into anything. And that's the one. Ah, I see. So, right. So... The output of this goes there. And the output of that. I mean, this I don't need to do this because I'm not doing anything with the, with the levels. But just trying the various like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put a banging clunk on it. 
I'll just imagine going to get your car MOT and it's like, yeah, something's wrong with your reverse. Goes into reverse. <laughs> you think this noise? Yeah, don't worry, mate. Just turn the radio off. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got, um, we're going to have six, and that's to represent the these these little buttons and the flappy paddles. Mm. So we'll have um, we'll have six of those duplicated, and I'm going to put them over here because I don't want to keep scrolling down. Um, duplicate. Du oh, I can use a keyboard shortcut. Oh no, keyboard shortcut would actually be harder because that means I have to lean forward and uh, still got a squeaky chair. Although there is one waiting for me in Bel. No, there's, no, there's that's actually free waiting for me in Belgium, but one of them's broken, but I think it can be fixed yeah, quite there's easily. There's something else waiting for you in Belgium, mate. Yes, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right, so now I've got six there, and these are gonna be controlled by these bits here. Um, but, 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 so they must all be red because I need to satisfy my, my sense of order. So, gate, one, two, three, four. Gate. Where's yep. Gate. One, two, three, four. Gate. One, two, three, four. Gate. And then one, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. And there. Right. Now do me a favour and then go through flappy paddles and Six, yeah. Okay, so flappy paddle one. That lights up. Flappy paddle two. That lights up, good. LSB. That lights up. This thing. That lights up. Some uh, menu, I think. Yeah, that lights up, and then... RSB. Out of curiosity, does the Xbox button do anything? So if I, if I go there, and then go... It says 14. So I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a seventh. So that's actually not twenty one. It's twenty two buttons. So um, put that into gate. No, not that color. That color there. Press the Xbox button. Uh, hey, that lights up as it well. Lights up. All right. So now I've got. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got seven, so I'm gonna need another mixer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many mixers are we on now? We're on... Uh, let's see, what? So Hang on, eight, 16, 24, so we're on 32. And then the... 32, then we've got um, the extra four there, so that's mm. 36, and then we've got 38. So there's 38 mixer channels there. This is almost starting to turn into a studio. I always, look, I always look at those studios and you just like go, have you got enough mixers there? There's never enough mixers. There's never enough mixers. <laughs> but here, here, here in the land of IT, yeah. there is always enough mixers, but there's never enough processing power. So, so out of curiosity, because there is a CPU meter, F3, so, um, I mean, that's using like 10% of my, I'm just gonna go on task manager yeah, Rack's using 50% of my CPU. I've got a Ryzen 1600X, so that's that's six cores, and it's using half of my processor. <laughs> you know what? I may actually get to a point where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need a bigger processor that's faster because I want to have more mixers. Uh, are you and me actually going to have to build a studio? Are we going to have to like pull our resources and just like build the mothership? I mean, yeah. you keep talking about moving out and saying I can live there. I'm just like, well, I'm not going to live there, but the room you're going to have for me is going to be a studio. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have a room for you, am I? Okay. You're going to have a room for me, which is going to be my studio. I mean, if you put a cot or something in there, then I can sleep in it. So technically, it's still a bedroom. But yes. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. Right. So let's just take away. I'm going to take away the, the... Hang on. Let's have a look at the task manager. I'm sure there's an equivalent task manager in Merck. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, that's taken off 1% of the CPU uh, demand, so that's good. And I've still, I've only used, how many gigabytes is it using? It's using, oh, I was only using 224 megabytes. It's, so it doesn't use much RAM. Right, so 
Um, 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 output goes the, 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 I don't know. It, this will work. So we believe. In order, we believe. To, in order to test it works. Blue means audio. So, uh, um, ah, there it is. Yeah, okay, good, that's working. Right. Hook them all up. Yeah, now it's time to hook them all up. So, go there. Um, goes there. Oh, can I just say how nice it is that now I have access to this software and everybody has access to this software it means yes you can have your own recording studio and also um, like has anybody in, how many mixers have you got in your Eurorack set up because it turns out I need I need 40 mixers channels, mixer channels yeah yeah 40 mixer channels Okay, so are we going to do a test? You're right. Go for all those um, seven buttons, all flappy right. paddles. So, flappy left, <laughs> flappy right, yeah. LSB, yeah. RSB, RSB. RSB. menu, yeah. other menu, Xbox. Yay! <laughs> right, so now let's randomise all of these. <laughs> so, hang on, we've got seven on the gear stick. And then we've got. It's all right, we'll go through all the noises after you've hooked them all up. We'll yes. Go the noises on the, the latest noises on here to make them sound good. Oh and then yeah. We'll just go through all of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to randomise that one again. There we go. Can I just say thank you very much? For Can I say thank you very much to Mutable Instruments for creating this instrument? this modal synthesizer because it's really a lot of fun for percussive things right so now now try all these seven mm -hmm. i'd just like to point out after i hold this fake steering wheel these all these buttons and flappy what are you talking about box this is that we that we lovingly set up i would like to point out women are obsolete <laughs> 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 right okay so let's let, let's go through so flappy left flappy left's yes. good flappy right Flappy right's good. Okay. Uh, LSB. I okay. don't like LSB. Let's just change brightness down. And then zoom in a bit more. It basically sounds like a, a ring of some sort. Like a pestle of water. That's a really clicking It is. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then RSB. Oh, damping's all the way off. I like that, we can keep that. Yeah, that's good, that. Right? So we've got a menu. Well, the, the d Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the other menu button. Nice. Hey, I'm just looking at this menu. You've got original non-linear string and chords. So as the randomizer, it's all going... Oh! So in addition to these randomizers, we can have chords and non-linear string, whatever that means. And then finally, Xbox button. I'll tell you what, the Xbox button we can experiment with. So. Right click, right click and do the randomised thing again, but try and hit uh, uh, chords, see what we get. Oh. That's the Xbox sound! <laughs> Press it again. What have we done? Press it again. <laughs> Can I just say... Be before there's like a power cut or anything, this has to be saved. <laughs> Need more mixers. Oh god, that is such a pleasure. We are, we're gonna have to redo it. We'd have to do this again at some point. Yes. Right, which I.
good because I now have more free time. And what we can do is we can do it all with chords. Then we can oh. 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 stuff. Right, okay, so let's try. I've got to try all the buttons because we've done yes. it. So yes, yes. Let's go gear stick. Right, so first gear. <coughs> Second gear. <coughs> Third gear. <coughs> Because I don't, because I, because I don't want feedback, I'm going to mute the microphone whilst you go through them. I don't. I think I I've. I can't believe we didn't discover the chords bit and the non. Yeah, yeah, stuff. no. I mean, I mean, uh. but more, more than that. I mean, talk about happy accidents. That <laughs> only available on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, <you're still> watching. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's a great sound effect. Right, should we have a jam? No, no not yet. Not yet. Because. That's boring. I want reverb. You're going to get a synth pad up? Or are you just going to reverb it to, to all hell? Yeah, it's going to be reverb. Nice and simple reverb. Re. Ah, no. Re. Not... Re. Re. <laughs> Re. Re. What's this? Uh, Don't click it. No. Don't click. That's That sounds like an alarm clock sound. Um, or some kind of session timer. Um, oh yes, because you need to time your session. Stop having fun. Reverb, there we go. And I'm going to use a reverb with CV controls. Wormhole effect. Alright, I, I have to try this because I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to take the mix from this and view... I, yes. Uh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I was going to have breakfast, but then I was like, uh, no, I'm going to do this. Oh, this is good. So this has got left and right. Um, we also have cookies. Yes, we do. And um, we have real food as well mm. later. But mm. need your biscuit. This thing's got inputs with left and right. Mmm. Biscuiting. Mm. Now, mid mapper. Yeah. Ah. I don't need to do that. Mmm. Mmm. Biscuit. Mmm. Yeah. You know when you were at school? Mm hmm right, And you asked, how should I interact with birds? And everyone just said, be yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that did work for me. Yeah, it's, it's same here. Well, maybe ish. a bit more ish. Well, maybe a bit more, um, a, a little bit more set up than that. Um, there's a part of me that just goes, be yourself. Okay, leaves bar, goes to studio. Mm. <laughs> so now, if I initialize, Yeah, that works. Mm. That works. That works. Brilliant. So, twiddly controls my synthesizer. Now control this. And now I need to do bypass Iser. Bypass Iser is a. I think that just bypasses it. That needs to be a gate. What can I use as a gate? Um, I'm running out of buttons. Um, what about just your mod mod wheel. 
Right, but yeah, no, but this needs to be a gate command, so oh, I need right. I need something that like, can I? Oh, what can I use as gate? Oh, this thing on here. Uh, oh yeah, I can use one of those buttons. Mm -hmm. So, what about like this top button here? Yeah, so if I just press the top button, that's two. Right. Oh, but two does like something there. So press that again. No, no, no. It's all right. It's all right. Like, yeah, twiddling knob there. And then twiddling on the but then two when like you go there and then um I think I need MIDI gate. This is uh, CC stands for something what I don't know. Um, so I look for MIDI, but MIDI R P. I know how to count the alphabet. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Um, zoom out. Bec ah, there's the MIDI gate. It's all the way up there for some reason. Right. Zoom in again so I can see what I'm doing. And then MIDI gate. So it's, w no, it's not Windows MIDI. It's going to be gamepad and it's going to be Cytec X52 flight control system. And you could just say X52. No. Sorry, it's like X52. X52. Wait. Control system. Look at th th these gate commands are corresponding to notes. And n none, none. It. Oh, I forgot. Those do things. Yes. Um. There's a. There's like a little D-pad on the front. Which I use if I'm doing a VTOL thing. I use that for thrust vectoring. Um, so that keeps going four because four is the twiddly knob, and it's being a bit, it's being a bit finicky. So if I just put it there, and then two is also being finicky. So just do that. Right. So let's try that again. No. No. Oh, this as well. I need to zero that. That's number two. Four. Four's not behaving itself. So, I need to map this, but... Oh, come on. I'm almost there. But anyway, that that's just it's not here nor there. I mean, okay, there, but it's bypassed, and nothing's coming out, so unbypass. But no reverb still because you haven't booked it up. I know what's happening. It's because. Uh, it, it's one of those, it, it's, I think it's a bug. When you're doing polyphony, it doesn't work well. So I'm just going to go. That works. Because all of these are going through the wormhole eyes, so that means they're all having the same effect. But I just want the the f ah one moment, please. It again. The idea is that I don't want the sound effects on. That what you're do, uh, doing to to be that so, I just want that bit to be wormhole eyesed. So these are the inputs from the synth. 
Yeah. So I bypass that. Yeah. And then I put in um those those the outputs from the filter, yes. So Yeah, so the ADSR envelope, when it goes into a mixer and it controls the CV, stops those noises. So what I need is instead of that going directly into that, it needs to go into here. So that needs to go into there. There we go. And then that goes to there. And then that one goes to, but that's the wrong color. <laughs> But now, nothing happens. And that waveboard looks fast, by the way. Yes, it does. But that's okay. Because now I can take the mixer and then go there, there. Bypass the wormholeizer. The ADSR is fucked. Pardon for the F. Um, I press F in chat. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. it. Press F in the comments. Where's the ADSR envelope? There's the ADSR envelope. Right, so. That's release. That's a slow attack, but it's the sustain, and the deca it decays too quickly. Make it a fast attack. Yeah. So the sustain is, and then release. Just take so the input of that. There we go. Now I'm going to press Xbox button. That's what the Xbox button looks like. Put on, on a random preset. This, this comes out of the Xbox button. I mean, of all the things to come out, it's like. I wonder if that's how they came up with like, oh, we, we need something to represent our brand. Uh, just hit randomize a couple of times. Yeah, that'll do.
got to unmute the microphone because I really like the Xbox button. It's like my favourite. <coughs> We've got to cut that out and call it Jam One. I think that's, that's the start of many. That's the start of the album. That is on, on, on a noise mission. It's almost too bad that using some sort of remote connect thing, you wouldn't be able to like send signals and to all those controllers or like have a controller at home to do that thing. But this is brilliant. I mean, during the performance, I changed the release because I wanted a short release so I could just... That's uh, note B on the keyboard, so... I may just, mm. just imagine me as that sort of like rid ridiculously fast sort of techie death metal all that sort of that's why you want distortion on that. oh hang on I can do distortion Percussion for a filter. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, so um, I'm just gonna zoom out a bit and let's go. Yeah, I think this is, this will be fun because yeah, I'm oh, sure I can play with the keyboard and fine. But so duplicate. Du so we'll duplicate that. And then where's the output? If like, that's going in there, so we'll take the input there and we'll do it for a high pass filter. Yeah, do a high pass filter. High pass filters are nice. They're my friend. Low pass filters is when I want to do bass, and percussion's not really bass, is it? So now I need all the foot pedal controls. Just by the way, I've been mm. looking at your Rex quick. Have we been? Are we hit the two hour mark yet? No, no. One this, this, this <laughs> like I say, it's, it's going to be one of the longest videos on my channel. It's uh, I'm going to have to upload it at night when when I've got like uh, you know no to use in the internet, and then it's that that one there, and then drive, um, uh, drives that one. Right, so now, try your percussions. Alright, okay, so... Oh, do Xbox button. Overdrive is brilliant. Overdrive and resonance together. Oh, that is a bitching sound. <laughs> that is an actual bitching sound. <laughs> I've had so much fun with this. I really oh, have. And um, let's if you want the album. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you an album. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, oh god, can you ima imagine? But the problem is, mm. if you, if, like in all seriousness, folks, mm. if you are on Hobbit Channel. And thank you for putting up with me for for all this time. I, I appreciate it for me to sort of nerd out a bit. Um, but in all seriousness, if, if me and Hobbit end up getting like a load of sort of um, jams and stuff together, um, my, my promise to you, Hobbs, at the end of this is I'll I'll stick it into Logic Ten and mm. you just get, uh, get me sort of get me the raw sort of uh, wave files of everything that's going on. 
I said I'll, I'll try and put them together in some, oh. some final mix so at least we've got some soundscape type thing or some sort of jam session. I mean, I think if I was to do that, I'd probably use something like Audacity to, to do a better job of the recording. Mm. But the other thing is, is, and this is where I get the difficulty in recording, right? Because one of the things I like doing with VCV Rack is just taking the input, the actual audio input of my synthesizer, mm. and then doing some processing with it. Like, for example, an avalanche of sand, mm. Well, setting 67, well, actually no, it's not setting 67, it's my own patch um, on that, and then passing it through the filter with the foot pedals, um, because again, it's just foot pedals when, again, normal Xbox sound, and then overdriven with resonance. Brilliant. So it's just- I do hope you've got a compressor and limiter on the audio coming out. No, it, yeah. I mean literally you, you can see the audio levels there and uh, so if you if you press a button and then if I do that, well it's in the yellow so that's alright. So the distortion you hear there will see on the side, but the thing is if you look at this patch, I mean we spent two hours on it, but it's still, <laughs> it's still relatively simple, I mean we've got 21 oscillators, modal synthesizers, mm -hmm. We've got the controls for those from the, the controller there. And then we've got my little thing, which is just two sawtooth voices to do the... It's mainly long form, isn't it? You yeah. Know, it's like, it's a lot of basic stuff, but lot, lots of shit. As you can see from the, if I may use your cursor, yeah. as you can see, audience, if you look here, um, I said at the central console where we started, that's where the majority of the wiring actually is. Yes. The rest of it is you know, mostly just a bit of eyes and, and The thing is, I, I've learnt a lot by doing this as well. I learnt that you don't really need the MIDI mapper. You just go into the MIDI CC, you start pressing buttons, and then it automatically goes, yeah, I know what you're trying to do there. And this is brilliant. So the ADSR envelope is being controlled by a, a throttle for a flight stick. Um, <clears throat> because there's twiddly knobs on it and the slider. The um, the wormhole eyeser is being controlled by the twiddly knobs on the synth, or at least the f first three ones. Mm. And then you've got your 21 button percussion stuff. Thank you for being a drummer today. Oh, I, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Really. And I've enjoyed the foot pass. Right, I think I'm going to save the patch there. Needs more mixers. Needs more mixers. I, I did you make did you, right, double check that you saved that? It, it, I, I just pressed saved again, so there it is. It's it's definitely saved, it's got a name, it's VCV. I need to put that like uh, if anybody asks in the comments, I will make the file available for you. Okay. Um just get in touch with my good friend Fremen on the sand and uh, he will help you out there because of course I don't have my own YouTube channel. Do you not? No, no. My good friend Fremen on the sand does it for me. Yeah, yeah. So he's a very good friend of mine, and he'll he'll upload this for me. And um, and uh, yeah, in the comments, if you ask like, oh, I really like that patch. Can I have a copy? I'm sure we'll, we'll, he will relay the messages to me, and I I will get it to you. So I'm going to put stop recording there. Thank you for watching. Don't like, don't subscribe, and I'll go away. <laughs>